What up everyone, my name is Professor Mo and today I'm gonna talk about the most exciting gaming event. Yeah, that's right, E3 2021, we received many good news, announcements and release dates. Of course, I can't tell you everything in one video, so here's what I did. I made a list. What list? Best games of E3 2021, yeah! <laughs> Honestly, I didn't watch the live streams and I was just following the news through gaming websites and YouTube. And I'm gonna need your opinion on it, so after you're done watching this video, write a comment and let me know what you think of it. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. We've been waiting for so long for Nintendo to tell us more about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. And Nintendo finally showed off some gameplay footage. Just a quick reminder, The Legend of Zelda is a high fantasy action adventure video game franchise. This game was announced in 2019. There is a whole new world to explore above the clouds. Link's glider has an upgrade. FYI Link is the central protagonist. Now he can teleport through rocks and he will be fighting with fire. This latest gameplay teaser closed by officially revealing that they're aiming to release Breath of the Wild 2 sometimes in 2022. Battlefield 2042 was revealed on June 9th with a gameplay trailer dropping as part of the Xbox and Bethesda games showcase on June 13th. Yeah. According to TechRider, the new Battlefield is set to take players into the near future. Yeah, the title is crystal clear, we all know that. Mm. <laughs> Battlefield 2042 will arrive packing a host of new weapons, vehicles and gadgets as well as 128 player maps for the latest consoles and PC. About the release date, this game will be released on October 22, 2021 for PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, PS4, Xbox One and PC for sure. Yeah. In one of the most surprising announcements at E3 2021, Massive Entertainment, the team behind the Division franchise, gave us our first look at Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, a game set in the Avatar universe. The AAA title is being developed using Ubisoft's proprietary Snowdrop graphics engine and is expected to coincide with the release of James Cameron's Avatar 2 next year. We've only seen a cinematic trailer so far but it certainly looks ambitious and beautiful, obviously. I'm super excited for Far Cry 6, it's one of the best franchises that I've ever played. Although, um, still I need to play Far Cry 5 and uh, I don't have the time yet, so yeah! <laughs> Anyways, we already got a lot of information about this game, cinematic trailer, character trailer, gameplay and a lot more. And a brand new trailer just came out at E3 2021, now we have more information about this game and we got more details. Players will take control of protagonist Danny as they shoot, loot and crush through Far Cry 6's customary regime crushing story. It seems like we're gonna have brand new weapon customization mechanics and that will keep Far Cry 6 from being the same old waypoint chasing adventure. Far Cry 6 is being released on October 7, 2021 for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Forza Horizon 5, the fifth entry in the popular open world driving simulator, will take players to an authentic recreation of Mexico and boast the series' largest drivable environments to date. Back in the days I used to play a lot of racing games, I just loved driving and I think I didn't like the driving games as soon as I got my driver license. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but I'm not into uh, driving games anymore, unless it's GTA. Forza Horizon 5 is scheduled for release on November 9th, 2021 for Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S and PC. Square Enix announced Guardian of the Galaxy, a new game based on popular Marvel team featured in movies and comics. It's being developed by Eidos Montreal. The game features a new original story featuring Marvel's comic book Misfits. At the start of the game, they have only been together for a year. Players will take on the role of Peter Quill, also known as Star-Lord. Guardians of the Galaxy will be released on October 26, 2021 for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S and PC. Halo Infinite was another exciting title in E3 2021, the 6th main entry of Halo series and the 16th Halo game overall. It picks up the story of Master Chief following Guardians. Halo Infinite will be released on Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One and PC. There is no confirmation on the release date, but we expect to see it on 2021. 
That means before the end of 2021. Ubisoft finally gave us a look at the next Rainbow Six title in action during its E3 2021 conference. Rainbow Six Extraction is a 1 to 3 player cooperative experience that sees you and your squad pitted against an ever evolving alien species called the Archeans. This game will be available on September 16th, 2021 for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PC, Amazon Luna, and Stadia. Sea of Thieves is one of the popular games on PC and Xbox consoles at this moment. The Sea of Thieves A Pirate's Life was announced at A3. If you are a player already, A Pirate's Life would be free for you and arrives on June 22nd, which is next week. It will be available on Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Starfield was one of the biggest game at E3 2021 and uh, there we go we got an official teaser trailer and the release date. This game will be out on November 11th 2022 but unfortunately Starfield will be an Xbox exclusive landing on Xbox Series X and S and PC but not PS5. Alright guys this is everything I hope you liked it but honestly I thought we would see many big titles like uh, Ghostwire Tokyo, God of War, Ragnarok, GTA 6 and so many more. Especially GTA 6, I was actually excited. I was like, maybe we're gonna get an update. Maybe we're gonna get an official teaser trailer. Or maybe a trailer, a gameplay, an announcement. What? Nothing. <laughs> Where are you, Rockstar? Shame on you. Yeah, it seems like we're gonna wait more for GTA 6. Also, I know that I didn't make the most perfect list, but it is what it is. Deal with it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you think this video deserves a like, Give it a like right now and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Yeah, make sure you hit that notification bell then you won't miss the next video. Awesome. That's everything. Peace out, Professor Mo. Love you all.